Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. Wanted to give you the update for the mid-size grow tent and the changes and the overall production that we've got going on in there. It's going really well. So as you can see, these greens are ready to harvest up on the top here. One's the uh, Yankee Hardy and the other is the DMR. They're ready to go. Uh, another really cool thing is that uh, last weekend I harvested this tray this is a first cut, got a little tag in there, and that tray is almost ready for another harvest compared to this tray that has never been harvested. So that's that's pretty impressive for the setup because I mean you know that was one of the reasons why I went to a two tray per shelf setup is so that way they get direct lighting underneath each one of those LEDs, and I'm seeing really good second term you know generation regen regenerative growth on those seed flats. So we've got two more examples. So these two trays I harvested uh, just yesterday. So we put those back inside here on the lower level and they'll be growing up. And then as they get you know, forward closer to a second harvest, they'll move up to the next set of trays. And then these trays, of course, they're gonna be moved out of here and put into the salad bar LED area. But I'm really impressed with how, uh, how much vegetative growth I'm getting by going to this two tray setup. And I think also the other addition or modification that I'm doing now, instead of watering from the top, I'm actually doing a wicking type system to where I'm only putting water in the base tray here, and then that wicks up into these grow trays. And so I'm pretty impressed with the, uh, the vigor that I'm getting out of the growth on these plants. So I'm hoping to see on these that by next weekend when we do our video update, we're gonna see that same type of regrowth on these two trays. And then of course down here, we've got the uh, the Astro Arugula, and then I have another gourmet lettuce blend over here that's just sprouted. I sprouted that just uh, the same the same day that I cut these yesterday, or no, two days ago. I went ahead and dumped one of the trays that I harvested for a, it was like a, the third cut. It was the one that used to be in the salad bar LED area yes, uh, last week. It was the gourmet lettuce blend that I was just kind of hanging on to, and I harvested that you know a couple of days ago and just sprouted these, so they're just really, really new sprouts there. But the uh, Astro Arugula is really doing well, and I think the reason is, is because before I was uh, top watering, and I was getting a little too much moisture on those, and it caused them to rot off. But doing this uh, wicking method, where it wicks the water up through the soil to where the plant's roots only take in what they want, I'm uh, seeing really good results with that Astro Arugula, so I'm pretty impressed with that. So just that's a Another something if you know somebody wants to try modifying or doing the uh, setup that I'm doing for their other types of grow media, such as you know cannabis or whatever you want to do. If you had a tray setup like this, you could probably put. I mean, I don't know how many clones you could put on that shelf there. You know, Sixteen per shelf for your starts, and then if you just put a little bit of you know you dump your water and your chemicals or you know I like to do things organic, but if you wanted to just put you know your your feed your nutrients there and uh, feed them from the root that up. I think you'd have some pretty stellar growth if you had a tent like this set up this way and you were doing your seed starts or your clones in this way. So yeah, I mean, you know, grow what you wish. <laughs> All right, this has been Brian, the organic, uh, beyond organic gardener with his little grow tents. All right, I'll talk to you guys again next week. All right, bye.